I'm getting the result by using a pianola. The answer, I think, in this, the second half of the 20th century, to a dull party. If you happen to have a pianola, regardless of whether you have a pianist or not, you merely put on one of these rolls on the pianola, sit down, pedal the pedals, and I guarantee within five minutes you have a good old-fashioned type party. The sort of party which I think many of the youngsters of today have never seen. Where you stand around the piano and sing your heads off. The company responsible for this, the revival of the pianola, is really the Master Touch Piano Roll Company who are the only company in Australia, one of the only four in the world, that are still producing pianola rolls. The man responsible, Mr. Bartley Wright. I first asked him the straightforward question, how does the pianola actually work? Well, it's fairly simple, uh, Roger. The air enters the holes in the paper roll, and in turn goes to the little bellows, which work the hammers. The bellows take the place of the pianist's fingers, and so the music's made in the piano. And depending upon the position of the holes, this the corresponding note plays right. in the piano. Yeah, yeah. Since your company, Mr. Wright, has been uh, going since about 1919, you must have made many thousands of different roles. Has there been one particular favourite at all that time? Of the modern role, sound music style very well. But how do you find in relation, should we say, to the updated uh, modern tempo pieces of music compared to the good old timers? Which of those would sell the best, the modern or the other ones? I think it's equal. Um, there are always the old style, uh, the old fans of the old style roles. Uh, they can be young or old, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, age is no barrier in this taste. And at the same time, we have people who like the very modern tunes. We have to compete with the hit parade in this way. Well, now, exactly how do you set out to make a piano a roll? Well, it all commences at the piano, Roger. You prepare an arrangement and it's recorded on this recording piano. And would you care to play something for us now? Yes, I'll play you um, this version of It's a Sin to Tell a Lie. Thank you. As the pianist plays, the recording machine is perforating at the same time. There's one punch for each note. It's like a gigantic sewing machine. As the keys depress, that note cuts the hole that you saw in the roll. Once the artist has approved the arrangement, and this is very necessary because as you remove the person from the keyboard of the piano and it becomes mechanical music, the arrangement changes and you have to do certain additions to it to make it acceptable as a piano piece. It's then passed into the factory for ordinary cutting purposes. The perforating machines will cut 16 copies at a time. In the case of the sound of music, we cut this master a number of times at one cutting. From the perforator, it's racked on these little ladders, and it goes through the printing machine, which puts the words onto the roll. And as you know, a pianola roll has a very special attribute. The words are stepped each syllable to the note, so it makes it very good for people wanting to sing at a party, especially after they've had a few beers or something like this, very easy to follow the words. From the printing machine it goes to the ruler, and here the roll is checked for mistakes. This machine is set in such a way that we can tell whether the roll is faulty enough. The operator can check the roll coming up and it's reeled into its familiar form on its little ends. From the reeler, it passes to the table for tagging, stamping with tempo and boxing to go into the, onto the shelves in the shops. Thank you very much. That was tremendous. Is there one particular age group, do you think, that would uh, specialise in purchasing pianos when they're available? I think so, Roger. Probably the young married couples in their 30s with two young children, perhaps one learning the piano. And uh, the father feels it's a very expensive investment just to buy a piano. Perhaps he's a frustrated musician from his childhood himself. <laughs> and he's going to get as much fun from it as perhaps the children will too. What about the future of the piano and the role? How do you see that? Well, we're looking to a quite different field. We're looking to the electronic organ. Uh, we have an attachment fitted to an electronic organ and we are experimenting with this now where ordinary piano rolls can be used on an electronic organ 
This has the advantage, of course, that it's small in size. Uh, there's participation in it because the person can work the stops, the sounds that comes out of it. They're creating the music and also the volume of the music, which is very important in home units and things like this nowadays can be regulated right now.